I spend my life talking to creative people about what we do every day. Whether we write or bake or paint or play music or make clothing, we're all doing our best to travel through our lives being as creative as we can. Whilst I only know a few people who survive on the income that creativity brings, it is entirely possible to do so if you set your mind to it and go about things the right way. But what do you do in the meantime, when you're working hard towards surviving on an entirely creative career? When you're baking novelty cakes every weekend for a handful of clients, but you still need to pay the mortgage at the moment? I thought I'd show you what I do, because it helps if the day job can be something within a creative realm, even if it isn't exactly right for you. Picture framing is something that a lot of people don't think about very much, you can buy a cheap frame from a certain Swedish furniture chain and throw in your snaps, and that's perfectly valid. But have you ever wondered how a professional, art skilled, qualified framers like me do it? Well, I'm going to show you. A client came in with his t shirt, medal, and running number from the Manchester Marathon. Quite rightly, he wanted these items preserved so that he could remember the day. We begin by measuring the items for framing and cut the card that will mount the items on our Withy machine. We don't just glue the t-shirt into the frame. We bulk it out a little so that it looks more substantial by making a piece of card to put inside the body and then glue wadding to the card. When dry it goes inside the t-shirt and we add more card to the neck hole to neaten it up a little. The shirt is then sewn to the backing board and card sewn inside the arm fabric to keep them straight in the frame. No glue is used for the shirt. Everything we do must be reversible, in case you change your mind in a few years because the decor of your room changes. To mount the number, we use linen gum tape to keep it in place behind the hole in the mount card. Again, this is water-based and reversible. The metal ribbon is posted through its slot and tacked down with a tap gun. The frame is then cut on a mitering machine so that each end has a 45 degree angle for joining. We can't squish the t-shirt against the glass, so a wooden spacer is also cut and lifts between the framed item and the glass and creates, well, space. Backing board and glass are cut to the right size and the whole framing package is then cleaned and put together for the customer. We love to make our customers happy. It's what makes the job worth doing well. Each item we frame is done in a bespoke way and we use our creative minds to make some really interesting things. In fact, we love it when someone comes in with a real challenge, like a plastic swimmer's cap collection or a boxing glove or a set of model trains. So we all know that being a creative person can be frustrating. When you just want to spend your time making, but you have bills to pay. Living on your creativity can be done. You just have to keep going Build your skills and your reputation and don't give up. But in the meantime, finding a job that is creative on some level can help your frustration that you aren't a megastar yet. Trust me, just keep swimming everyone. Click below to sign up for the Arty Mouse weekly newsletter. If you do, you'll get art tips and insider information on the art courses I run. If you need more Arty Mouse in your life, you can also contact me that way to get an individual tutorial too. So click the link, subscribe to the channel and give your art practice a boost.